As sentenced for count one, the court commits you to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 270 months. It's the longest prison sentence for an on-duty police officer convicted of murder in recent memory. A judge sentenced Derek Chauvin to 22 and a half years in prison for killing George Floyd. Mike Snipes is a former Dallas County prosecutor. I think uh, this was a good day uh, for justice in America. Proud of the judge, proud of the jury, proud of the system of justice. Snipes says it is difficult to get a long prison sentence for police officers. He knows he's the former prosecutor who got a conviction against Balch Springs police officer Roy Oliver for murdering 15-year-old Jordan Edwards. Snipes asked for 60 years in prison. Oliver got 15. He thinks today's sentence did send a message. Even though we love our police, we trust them to protect us. They don't just get carte blanche to do whatever it is they want to do. Uh, that time has changed in America. Friday afternoon, the family of George Floyd asked Judge Peter Cahill for the maximum sentence he faced, 40 years. My family and I have been given a life sentence. We would never be able to get George back. Meanwhile, Chauvin's mother asked the judge for leniency and probation. I believe a lengthy sentence will not serve Derek well. When you sentence my son, you will also be sentencing me. Judge Cahill said he understood the magnitude of his decision, but says he based his decision on the law. I'm not basing my sentence also on public opinion. I'm not basing it on any attempt to send any messages. A trial court judge, the job of a trial court judge is to apply the law to specific facts and to deal with individual cases. I believed him when he said that, and I think that's exactly what he did. Chauvin may one day be released and back in society. George Floyd's family says they will never get to see him again, and they say that is the greatest injustice. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.